Welcome to another Chalagans video. Here is an SV4401 and an SV6301. They are identical in the way they are used. Both have four video buttons, including the function button, control button, and two arrow buttons, which can be operated by the four buttons for quick operation. Before we start, we want to make the monitor as clean as possible so that we can see it more easily. So we disable the multiple trusses and we'll leave only the truss 1. And we are going to change the format to SWR. This is just to show it more clearly. And now you can see that we have a marker. The first function we are going to do will be the screenshot. If we want to do the screenshot, we press the function key and we press the control button. And then there is a B sound and the screenshot is performed. We go to the file, then go to the image, and we are able to check. This is a screenshot that we have done just now. And next, we are going to look at how we can search for a certain focusing point. Currently, the marker 1 is looking at 7378 MHz. Let's say we want to go to 3 GHz, what we should do? We press and hold the control button until we see the search bar here. We enter the 3 GHz and now you can see the marker goes to 3 GHz. The next function we'll be looking at to add another marker. We have one marker right now and we want to add another. Double click control button to quickly add a new marker and now we can see the second marker. The new marker is active. Let's use the arrow button to move to the frequency that we want to check about. Then we add another marker. The same way we can add more and more markers. We are going to look at the next function is switched markers. Now the active marker will be the marker 5 and we want to change that to marker 4. What are we going to do? We press and hold the function key and we press the arrow button. Now it will be the marker 4 is moving and likewise we will do it again. We activate the number 3 and the number 3 will be moving. And this is how you change from different active markers. And the very last function we are going to look at to delete the markers. What we want to do that is by double click the function key. We double click the function key and the current active marker will be deleted. This is how we do it. And that's it. We are using the four keys to perform a lot of like a quick actions and to improve our experience with the VNA. Thank you for watching.